Hello and welcome to Leaders of Tomorrow, Super Achievers, Making New India, powered by VoiceWatt. Hindwear stands as the most iconic brand in the bathwear industry today. And to do a deep dive on how the brand has grown its addressable market by over 10x over the last decade, through industry-leading strategic expansion across a diversified range of sectors, we caught up with Sandeep Somani, Chairman and Managing Director of Somani Impresa Group, to learn more. In the realm of business diversity, Somani Impresa Group is making significant strides through its companies Hindwe Home Innovation Limited, Hindwe Limited, and AGI Green Pack. Hindwe Home Innovation operates across three distinct business sectors sanitary wear and faucets, plastic pipes and fittings, and consumer appliances. Hindware's commitment to excellence seamlessly integrates functionality and style, offering a diverse range of products that redefine modern living standards. With an innovative and comprehensive range of sanitary wear and faucets, Hindware products are meticulously crafted to enhance the functionality and aesthetics of modern bathrooms along with a wide range of plastic pipes and fittings. Under Hindware Smart Appliances, the company extends its commitment to quality and innovation to home appliances. The range includes kitchen appliances, chimneys, water heaters, air coolers and fans, featuring next-gen attributes like IoT connectivity. Hindware is more than just a brand. It's a promise, a promise of lasting quality, exceptional design, cutting-edge technology, and constant innovation. Joining us today is the Chairman and Managing Director of Somani Impresa Group, Sandeep Somani, in a special conversation as part of Super Achievers Making New India, powered by VoiceWatt. Listen in. Mr. Somani, thank you so much for taking the time to speak with us. Thank you for inviting me to the show. Sure. And sir, for sake of some context setting for our viewers, Hindware as a brand has of course enjoyed a six decade long legacy. Over 60 million customers worldwide. It's considered to be an industry leader in the building materials portfolio space. On top of which it's made significant strides in the consumer appliances business. So give us an overview of how the company is structured broadly along with the products and services on offer. So you're absolutely right. We have over 60 million uh, you know, customers and we are very grateful to each and every one of those customers. Uh, the company was started in 1960. Uh, basically the company uh, was for many, many years the leader in ceramic sanitware. Right. So we're making all the toilets under the brand name Hindware. Uh, then about 10 years ago we got into the space of faucets, uh, taps and showers where we are now number two. In ceramics, we are number one. We, are the, we remained the market leader uh, for many, many decades. Uh, we then got into plastic pipes, uh, which is a plumbing material. Oh. So we are getting, expanding our footprint into becoming a complete uh, building material solution provider from being a single product company. In the process of that, we have expanded our potential size, uh, market size, by about 12 and a half times. When we were making sanitware, we were addressing a three and a half thousand crore market. Today, we can address a 50,000 crore market. Remarkable. So, the company has been growing and, uh, you know, doing very well. Well, let's talk more about that. In the sanitary wear business in particular, you are the undisputed market leaders. What is Hindware doing differently in terms of distribution model, approach to design, and commitment to innovation, for example? So I, I, you know, uh, when you go back and trace a company's uh, ability to win constantly in the market, there's not one factor, but many, many factors which help it uh, outperform competition. Certainly. Over the years, I think the single largest differentiator has been that we are very innovative. I think uh, without doubt, we bring in technology and we are the leaders to experiment we also make sure that we not only meet the customer's requirements, 
but we actually exceed them. So we do a lot of interaction with consumers in terms of understanding their unmet need. Sure. And that is why if you look at any technology in the plumbing industry, we were the first to bring those technologies into India, whether it be water saving, whether it be high efficiency flushing, whether it be, you know, in, in, uh, in our uh, ceramic space, our plants are the most efficient and most modern. Uh, we brought in robots the first time in India industry. We do pressure casting, which improves the quality of the product. Right. So I think we have had a string of innovations uh, to make sure that we are ahead of the curve. The other thing is we are very flexible. Our production systems are flexible. Our approach to the market is very flexible. We are not structured rigidly. We are very open and agile. We look at the changing dynamics, both of the market and of the consumer, and we very quickly evolve to adjust ourselves to it. Many companies are much more regimented, particularly the MNCs, right. and they don't have the ability to move so quickly. We are able to move much quicker and therefore we stay ahead of the curve. Uh, I think the other thing is quality. Quality today is a given, but 50 years ago, it was a very big differentiator. And we've always believed that we must offer much better than what even the consumer expects. So it is very normal for our project, you know, products to last 30, 40 years, you know. Right. And that life cycle in today's uh, day and age for consumers who chuck things three, four years is unheard of. Well, sir, I want to do a bit of a deeper dive there. You mentioned staying ahead of the curve. And to my understanding, when you look at Hindware's bathware business line, you know, it comprises of sanitary ware, of course, faucets, and your newly launched premium tiles segment. And given that, as a brand, you entered the faucet space as recently as 2010 and are now among the top two players in the market, how did you essentially make that vision a reality? So, you know, before we come into any business, I think we do a preparation of two to three years. We understand the market in great detail. We understand the competition in great detail. And we understand where the gaps are. Mm -hmm. Now in India, uh, the faucet business is dominated by one brand, which is very old. Uh, and we realize that uh, others want to come in. A lot of competition is coming in, including us. Right. And we must do something differently to be able to make sure that we have our skin in the game for the long term. So the first thing we did was we put up the most modern plant. It was absolutely state of the art to make sure that we make quality products. Products which are, you know, trouble free for the customer. Sure. Because, you know, unlike a piece of sanitary which is bolted on or screwed on to the wall and can be removed quite easily, certain types of faucets go into the wall. Mm -hmm. So if anything goes wrong with them, the consumer has to break his or her wall, right. which means the marble, the onyx, the granite, whatever the consumer has put on the wall sure. is all destroyed. Hmm. Also the pain in terms of doing all this while the consumer is living in his or her home. Of course. So we want to make sure that there is no leakage on our products. The products have a guarantee of 10 years for no failure. And they don't fail for many, many years. Uh, so we make sure that we exceed the expectations of the consumer. We also made sure that we make innovative products we, from a design perspective and from a performance perspective. We gave consumers a single lever mixtures, which are very easy to operate. You don't need two hands, you can do it with one hand. We gave quarter turns, so you don't have to keep turning the knob. You Very small turn and the full tap comes on. Right. Just to give you a new example, Please. we are the first people now, with, uh, we have partnered with a company in Sweden. Uh, we have a global patent. Together we have worked on a product to save 98% water consumption on your taps. Sure. And this product can be retrofitted on any tap. Remarkable. So we are always ahead of the curve in terms of understanding. India is short of water. Whatever our industry can do to save this precious national resource is very important for all of us to make sure that we are the, uh, using the least amount of water that we can. Right. Yeah. Well, sir, you've touched upon this time and time again, but the deeply diversified portfolio 
right? The vinware cannot go unnoticed and it cannot go unapplauded. And I want to touch upon a new business segment entirely, whether it's, for example, plastic pipes or fitting solutions that Hinware entered fairly recently, as recently as 2018, I believe. Yeah. And that business is now expected to become a 1,000 crore business by 2025. How did you accelerate business growth in that context in particular? So we are very focused on the plumbing market, the plastic plumbing market. Plastic pipes also go into, have a very large application in agriculture. Right. We are not so uh, present in that business. So we realize that we are ahead of the wall. Sure. Uh, Sanitware, uh, tiles, uh, your fittings, they all come ahead of the wall. Right. But there are many companies globally which are ahead of the wall, like we are, and also behind the wall. Behind the wall is where the hidden pipes go. Sure. So we decided that it's a growing market. There was an inflection point in the market. All new construction had switched from galvanized iron pipes, which India has been using traditionally, to these modern PVC, CPVC pipes. CPVC pipes are new generation. They can take high temperature, 90 degrees centigrade, so they're good for hot water. And in the homes that have already been built, the galvanized iron pipes in 10 to 15 years start corroding. So when those homes come up for renovation, the, uh, the galvanized pipes will be replaced with plastic pipes. Right. So it's an inflection point for the whole industry. The consumer was not going to go with metal pipes anymore. Mm -hmm. So we realized that there's a niche for us to come in with high quality pipes, right. not the average run of the mill uh, pipes. So we put up again a state of the art plant. The building that we put up is the first in the plastic industry. Not only the pipe industry, the pipe, the plastic pipe and the plastics industry to certi be certified uh, a platinum green project. Incredible. We also have a green process and we have a green product. So all these certifications we got in record time and we were the first for all of these in the country. The pipes have been tested to much higher pressures than what is uh, mandatorily required for them. So the consumer knows that these products will not fail because again they go into the wall and if they fail it's a pain in the neck for the consumer to get them replaced. A lot of work uh, and of course cost. Mm -hmm. We've always made sure that when we come in we are the best in class. Sure. Our overall vision always is that in any business that we enter in the first few years of our business in the first five years we must be among the top five mm -hmm. and in the first ten years of that business we must be among the top three. If we are not going to have a sustainable business to be among the leaders of that business, right. then we are not going to be in that business. It's time for a short break, but our special feature, Leaders of Tomorrow's Super Achievers, Making New India, powered by VoiceWatt, continues on the other side, as does our conversation with the Chairman and Managing Director of Somani Impressa Group, Sandeep Somani. We'll be right back. Welcome back. You're watching Leaders of Tomorrow's Super Achievers, Making New India, powered by VoiceWatt. And we're in conversation with the Chairman and Managing Director of Somani Impressa Group, Sandeep Somani. Well, sir, you've certainly stayed true to that statement because now if I take the conversation in the direction of Hindware Smart Appliances, which is essentially your, you know, consumer appliances brand, uh, it, to my knowledge, includes air heaters, water coolers and chimneys. And within the chimney space, you're again among the top two players. What sort of retail approach or footprint have you adopted to make that materialize? So the first thing is that uh, when we got into this space, uh, the chimney business was evolving. It was a new product. Uh, consumers were accepting it, of particularly course. in urban India. Now it's gone into semi-urban India too, because it helps the housewife have a better environment. Right. Indian cooking involves a fair amount of frying and smoke and India is a hot country. So you know the, these exhausts are new generation uh, chimneys take out the smoke and the heat. We were the first to do research and make sure that the chimneys are automated. We have sensors in the chimney which 
clean the chimney themselves. You don't have to manually take the filters and clean it. We were the first to introduce that. Our latest chimney is autonomous. It works on artificial intelligence. It actually decides and knows what you are cooking and increases or decreases the fan speed accordingly. Wow. We brought in innovation. The irritant to the consumer is the very loud noise of our competitors. Right. We brought in India's most silent chimney. We you know, knocked out the sound by 40%. So we are doing these innovations. In this business, we have got in the last six years, 34 patents. So we have a beautiful and very, very committed and dedicated R&D team which works hard to innovate our products. In terms of distribution, these products are available at about 11,000 outlets, just the consumer. Sure. We have about 600, 700 distributors. Mm. So we are making sure we, we have uh, uh, access. Consumers of 17,000 PIN codes have access to our products. Incredible. So we are making sure that we are not only in large towns and cities, but we are in tier 3, tier 4 towns also. Service is another aspect. Some of these products need service. Right. We have uh, 700 people available within 24 hours to serve the customer. Mm -hmm. Any complaint is addressed within 24 hours. So we stand by the customer making sure that we make their life better. Mm -hmm. So this, the customer certainly seems to be at all aspects of not just uh, you know, product design, but service execution as well. And switching gears for a moment, uh, you've also set foot in the packaging products business by way of AGI Green Pack. Tell us more about that association and to what extent you leverage acquisition as a tool or a strategy when it comes to business growth and expansion. We are acquisitive by nature. So even in our ceramic business, uh, we acquired two competitors, uh, Krishna Ceramics Limited and Rasi Ceramics. Yes. Both were based in Telangana. Over 10 years, we have made these two acquisitions. Then from the Havels Group, we got, brought their Crabtree faucet business and that is how we got into faucets and taps. Right. They had a small plant in Rajasthan. We got into the business by acquiring their business and then of course grew it many fold. Mm -hmm. So we are quite acquisitive. AGI is India's second largest producer of glass. Mm -hmm. Glass is an eco-friendly packaging medium and glass is used for packaging of food products, pharmaceuticals, alcohol products, you know, Coke, Pepsi, which is what he called aerated water, mineral water, etc. It's a growing business across the world because the glass products can be 100% recycled any number of times without any adverse effect to the environment. Hmm. Uh, AGI uh, is doing very well. Uh, it's a um, growing business, as I said, and we are also in very niche products. We continue to uh, look at opportunities in these niches. So recently we commissioned a plant to make cosmetic and perfumery glass, which is high value glass, mm. which can also lend itself to large exports. Phenomenal. Uh, we also in that business do very high quality alcohol bottles, you know, the high end whiskies, the high end tequilas. Sure. We are making those heavy, very beautiful bottles to match the contents of it. Lovely, so we, we are uh, growing in that business. Uh, in that business, we've also made, uh, uh, you know, we are in the process of making an acquisition. It's currently in the courts, but uh, we have acquired a competitor mm -hmm. and hopefully sooner rather than later, uh, we will be able to take management charge of it. <laughs> well, sir, we certainly look forward to that. And the common denominator, irrespective of vertical, seems to be your approach to customer engagement and yep. your approach to distribution. Tell us about your underlying rationale on both fronts. So we have a very exhaustive distribution. Uh, most of the consumer companies were more focused, uh, consumer durable companies I'm talking. FMCGs have always had a great distribution and very exhaustive distribution. Of course. Uh, our uh, type of companies were more focused on metros and mini metros. Mm -hmm. But over the years, the tier three, tier four towns now have been started giving very good growths. Mm -hmm. And we are now expanded our distribution significantly. So for example, in, in our sanitary and faucet business, our products are available to over 45,000 counters. Mm -hmm. uh, we have over 700 distributors. We have over 600 showrooms, uh, which you know give, present our product in the right light. Right. Similarly, in the consumer business, we have, as I said, over 10,000 
points where the consumer can buy the product. Mm -hmm. Multiple distributors, many uh, arcades of our own where uh, our dealers mm -hmm. uh, showcase the product in the right environment. So I think distribution is key to success sure. in the India that is today. Uh, India is on a great wicket. I think the next 10-15 years will be golden years for India mm -hmm. and we will continue to drive growth, uh, the country will continue to do well mm -hmm. and I think uh, any well managed company with great brands, uh, there is no looking back. Sir, at some level you must have your eye on the competition, so what do you view of the competitive landscape and in your view what sets Hindware apart ultimately? Many of the multinationals in our sectors are already in India, manufacturing in India. Those who aren't are importing their products into India. India is on the watch list of every global CEO. That's right. India, as I said earlier, uh, has a great growth ahead and everybody wants to be here. So the competitive landscape will only become tougher. Sure. But I think that doesn't worry us. We are very well entrenched, our brand is very strong and we are doing all the things required to make sure that the brand Hindware stays ahead of the competition. We continue to invest in the brand, I, our IPL relationships recently are proof of that. Right. We continue to you know, be focused on our products and product, differentiated products. So I, I don't uh, believe that the impending increase in competition will be detrimental to us. I think when competition comes in, it brings out the best in all of us. We work harder. And sir, for the benefit of our viewers, yeah. and especially young entrepreneurs who may be watching, hmm. what's a management mantra or a leadership philosophy that you live your life by? So I would say FIA. Flexible, innovative and agile. Nice. That's what we expect all of us to be in the environment that we are today. Mm -hmm. uh, we work hard. We make sure that we deliver mm -hmm. and we are very open to inputs and suggestions across the different levels of the organization. Well, sir, the modern day workforce wants to be increasingly involved yeah. in the day to day, of course, but also the strategic vision of the company that they work for. Mm. So if we were to speak to a member of your team, mm. how might they characterize the corporate culture ultimately? I think we have a very open culture and very transparent culture. The company walks the talk. And I don't think we do anything which is detrimental to the, you know, to the, uh, the culture of the organization. Mm -hmm. We work on trust, we work on openness mm -hmm. and transparency. Mm -hmm. So I think to that extent we are a good, uh, very, very uh, balanced uh, company. Uh, many of our businesses have been great places to work uh, year after year. Mm -hmm. So I think uh, with their scope to improve, there always is. And for aspiring entrepreneurs that are perhaps still struggling to find their footing, hmm. you know, in the building materials space, what words of advice might you have for them? Work hard. There's no substitute to hard work. Uh, sometimes now I hear the young guys saying, you have to work more intelligently. That's true, but it's still not a substitute for hard work. I've learned it the hard way. <laughs> well, sir, thank you so much for taking the time to speak with us. We wish you all the very best for what lies ahead. Thank you very much. Well, that brings our special feature, Leaders of Tomorrow, Super Achievers, making New India powered by Voice Watch to a close. I'm Pooja Jain, signing off from the Hindwala Casa store in Delhi. Thanks for tuning in.